I was actually at the sentencing hearing of my own court case where I was sentenced in front of a judge and I had the prosecutor on the other end of the table laughing and joking around placing me into prison. And I actually told him, thank you, because I, for the first time in my life, care about something enough to make a change. And I went off into prison and that's when I started dreaming and scheming around being able to help women that were in the same exact situation as myself. I served two and a half years incarcerated and I, for two Mother's Days, I did not get to see my sons. I have a 21-year-old son and a 17-year-old son. At the time, they were around 16 and 12. I wasn't able to spend that time with them. And time is something that, one thing in this world that we can't get a refund on. So that time that I, was, that I didn't get to spend with them, when I was inside, I was crying, I was hurting, I was, you know, I was devastated. So I came out of prison in 2017. Shortly after that, I got right into the, the organizing work. And in my organizing was when I learned about the national bailout. And they were like, hey, you know, we heard that you were formerly incarcerated. We think you would be down to like, you know, help us bail some mamas out. I was like, well, they, they, kept, they kept me in a cage for two years. But if I could get a thousand mamas out of a cage for Mother's Day, like, that is the only thing that could bring me solace. That's the only thing that's close to refunding that time that I didn't get to spend with my sons. That's the only thing that in this world right now that could make up for what I lost. I was following the case of a police officer who around the same time that I had gotten sentenced had been sentenced for the same exact quote unquote crime as me. And she received six months in jail and I received eight and a half years in prison. That police officer was a, was a white police officer. We had the same judge, we had the same state's attorney. About maybe a year after her trial had gone through, she went back to the judge and that judge vacated her charges, made her whole again, and called her a soccer mom and basically pat her on the back and sent her on her way. To me, that is very indicative of, of why we say black mamas. We unapologetically center black and brown women because when the system unapologetically targets us and unapologetically puts us away, unapologetically separates and rips us away from our children, there is nobody here to say why black people or why black mamas. So we are stepping up very boldly to say that the time is now for us to focus on black women we really don't care who likes it, who doesn't like it, or who has a problem with it. So I get to do this over and over and over again. And each year I get to affect the changing the trajectory of another set of mamas that are coming home. This is something that the state can't take from me, right? They took away my time. They took away my ability to be with my sons. But what they cannot take away from me now is that I can organize and bring home more mothers every single Mother's Day. And so it's just solace for me.